Hey guys, what's up? Raptor7717 here. And um, this is my review of this Zvezda 1 in 100 scale Matilda 2 or Infantry Tank Mark 1 or Infantry Tank Mark 2 Matilda. Also known as the Matilda 2 because the first one was called the Matilda for some crazy reason. Uh, inside this box is a sprue and a little card for uh, Art of Tactic, which is a uh, Zvezda's game. Um, and then a little advertisement. If you want to see, really see what's inside, instructions as well. If you really want to see what's inside, you can watch my Panzer II video. They're basically the same on the inside. On the back, you have a little blowout, which is actually what you, I used to build it. Um, you can use uh, the instructions on the inside, but they're identical, so there's no real point tells you some specs, it looks like. Anyway, here's a little tank. Uh, as you can see from the back, it had uh, about 10 parts, I think. Uh, nine or ten. Nine. And nine parts. So, uh, yeah, it went together in nine parts, which is makes it by far the hardest Zvezda tank to build that I've uh, built so far. Uh, but you can see the detail is wonderful. It's got these little uh, skirts on the side. I don't know what the British called them. But, uh, yeah. This had the uh, heaviest armor in Africa and for a long time, for the first couple of years of Africa. It was the queen of the desert until... Uh, the heavier tanks shut up. Uh, this turret is actually its own separate piece and if you can see I don't know if you can there's little uh, hinges back there and it looks like um, you can hinge it. Uh, they, they, like the hinges actually fit in, like they're separate pieces and so you might be able to have it open although I'm not, don't, I wouldn't want to do that. I uh, think it might be difficult. This The turret doesn't go down all the way as you can see uh, the treads on the detail is superb, as you can see I didn't uh, cut that very well. The front in detail is just nice. The biggest problem is it doesn't, uh, it's not clear what order you put these um, together in. The uh, main body of the tank, uh, I'm forgetting what you would call it right now, chassis uh, of the tank. Uh, it's not clear in what order you put them together in. Uh, so you can get a little bit confused, but that's not the biggest, I mean, biggest problem in the world, but you can see the, you can see the nice detail, you can see the lines with the treads, the treads actually have this armor on them, and you can see a bit of the line in the front is a couple holes, I mean, nothing perfect, um, got the little bits and pieces, but it looks, it's a nice looking Matilda, I actually, I bet the gun on this one, uh, which is really unfortunate because it's such a thin gun. But I did bend it. Um, but it is a nice bendy plastic. Um, so when you're trying to force things together and not glue them, it does uh, give a little bit before you realize you're doing something wrong. Uh, it doesn't just snap immediately and uh, be horrible. So for size comparison, uh, we have here the little Panzer II in 1 in 100 scale by Zvezda. Yeah, that guy. Uh, and we have a little Risk figure who looks like he might be in the same scale, so there's that. Might almost be in the same scale. And uh, just because here is a 1 in 35 scale uh, panther tank. Yeah. That, that would have been an interesting battle. Anyway, this is a nice little tank. I like it. Um, I would like Matildas. Uh, they're hard to find in other places. I think Zvezda and again, Battlefront may be the only place you can find these guys uh, in this scale. I'm sure there's somewhere else probably, but um, those are much more expensive. Uh, they're a bit more detailed, but I personally don't think it's worth it. I think this is detailed fine. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, the little Matilda 2 in 1 in 100 scale. Buzz the best, Bye.